I have loved the Great Barrier Reef since I first went snorkeling on it at age 11 and it made a real impact on me and today we've just had a dive off Magnetic Island. Uh, we know the reef's under serious threat from climate change and that's of course fueled by burning coal and other fossil fuels and yet we have clean energy alternatives that can safeguard this amazing place. So we've seen some wonderful coloured corals today and some amazing fish but we've also seen the start of coral bleaching and this is a huge concern to see some corals that are 40 years old starting to bleach. In these bleaching events we've seen corals that are hundreds and hundreds of years old die. These are corals that were here when James Cook first arrived in Australia. Now the, the temperatures here are usually a bit warmer than elsewhere and it's only another week or two of hot temperatures and those colours that are currently healthy will also show signs of stress. Uh, we've got to do all we can to come back from that to reduce the, uh, the pressures and the threats to the reef and to transition to clean energy as quickly as possible. So that's what we're working for in the parliament. Hopefully with an election year more people can make their voice heard and can uh, vote for that outcome. It's really clear that we need to protect the reef and we have to choose clean energy and the reef instead of coal and the donations and the vested interests that go along with it.